From being engaged to Ariana Grande to dating the likes of superstars like Kaya Gerber and Margaret Qualley. Pete Davidson sure has had a lot of big-name girlfriends and he's never been afraid to poke fun at them. But things with his latest sweetheart are slightly different. This is the real reason Pete Davidson won't joke about Kim Kardashian. You're probably thinking, come on, surely Pete's got a few things to say about her. The comedian is known for his sketches. I gotta ask you for a favor. Sure, Brooklyn. What is it? When I'm gone, I need you to go to my house and find my girl and tell her that I loved her, even though she was a Sox fan. <laughs> and he's usually not shy to roast pretty much anyone. What could be different about Kim? He wasn't silent about Grande, and in his Netflix special, hit her with a plethora of cringy jokes. No, she's a really powerful woman, that, uh, that, that uh, Ariana. She's a, she's a very, very powerful woman. She did that so that every girl that sees my for the rest of my life is disappointed. And wasn't shy to speak about Kaya Gerber or Kate Beckinsale when on Charlemagne, the God's podcast. But the truth is, Kim Kardashian is on another level and comes with a whole heap of baggage. Still, Pete isn't stupid, so you'd think it would be a perfect opportunity to make some headlines. But he's refusing to go down that road. He has retired from Saturday Night Live, where he usually spills the beans on the ins and outs of his love life. But he's made a return as a host and continues to do comedy, so surely he could slip in a few jokes about it. Has he matured? Is he scared of Kanye? Or is there some more mysterious reason why he refuses to speak about the relationship? Let's start with Kanye. As I'm sure you know, those two have had serious beef over the Kim situation with Pete repeatedly making jokes about it in the past. Although Kanye's feud with SNL started way back in 2016 with him telling them they can kiss his ass. It got even more complicated when Kim started dating Pete pretty much as soon as she broke up with Kanye. From Kanye's point of view, I'm sure he thinks she couldn't have gotten with a worse guy. When Kanye went a bit wild on SNL back in 2018 with his MAGA hat and pro-Trump speech. They bullied me backstage. They said, don't go out there with that hat on. They bullied me backstage. They bullied me. And then they say, I'm in a sunken place. You want to see the sunken place? Okay. I'm going to listen to y'all now. Or I'm going to put my Superman cape on. Uh... Pete jumped at the chance to get a few digs in, calling it most awkward things I've ever seen here. And also joked about Kanye's mental problems telling him to take his pills. So it makes sense why Kanye was furious when they got together. It got even worse just after Kanye and Kim broke up and there were still a lot of rumors about them getting back together. I mean, they do have kids together and have been married for 10 years. Either way, she decided to kiss Pete on SNL with Kanye in attendance. That took things to another level with Kanye saying in a song he wanted to beat Pete's ass. It got so bad that Pete had to start using security. He said he wasn't too scared of Kanye, but he was scared of his fans. Kanye does have some devoted followers to say the least. It makes sense that now things are over with Kim, he doesn't want to infuriate Kanye or his crazy fans even further. But that's not the only reason he refused to joke about Kim. Reports came in saying that Pete's going to be a gentleman and a good sport about his love life. He's allowed to joke about his love life as much as he wants, but Kim is off limits. The two could just be on good terms and he doesn't want to upset her. She is a superstar after all, and although he's dated some super famous people, none of them compares to Kim's status. If he goes too far, who knows what the repercussions could be? He's probably just playing it safe. He also seems to be on good terms with Kim and her family. Although they were only dating for nine months and most of the media coverage centered around the feud with Kanye, the two did spend some quality time together, with Pete taking her to the fanciest of restaurants and even to his hometown in Staten Island. He even went as far as to get a few tattoos in her honor, including a KNCP tat. It was dedicated to her four children, North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm. Looks like he loved her that much. Kanye being their dad wasn't an issue. Reports even say that he let Kim ink her name on him. It gets even weirder. He also revealed on the Ellen DeGeneres show that he got her name branded onto his chest. That's right, branded, as in burned onto his chest with a hot iron. Just let that sink in. They may have only been together for less than a year, but man, he must have had serious feelings for her to go that far. He's not got any of his other exes' names branded into his skin, that we know of at least. So. 
I think it's safe to say that despite breaking up, the two are on good terms. He may be able to laser remove a few of the tattoos, but I doubt that her name burned into his skin is going anywhere. I think dating Kim is a whole different ballgame. She's not just famous, she's super famous. Her team is very protective of her image, and I doubt Pete wants to get on anyone's wrong side. If he decided to mock her, I bet there'd be serious repercussions. And not just from Kanye. It looks like as Pete gets older, he's maturing and sees the problems that arise when your love life is literally all over the internet for everyone to see. He's admitted that he has no idea why everyone is so interested in his love life, and says, although he's dated some big names, his romantic side is pretty uninteresting. He might just be saying that to avoid having to talk about Kim. But he even said he doesn't enjoy being more known for his dating life than his comedy. He also said his jokes on SNL about his relationships made him feel like a loser. Although he loves the show and what they've done for him, constantly being mocked and made fun of requires serious thick skin. Rumors have also been circulating that he's moved on from Kim and is dating Chase Suey Wonders. The two were seen kissing, so it's safe to say she's the next big name in his love life. Time will only tell if he sticks to his guns and remains silent about his love life. Is Kim the exception? Or will he carry on being public about his future relationships? In the past, he's made it clear he is not shy to talk about the pros and cons of his love life. He admitted that his ex Kaya Gerber and he didn't work out because of the age gap, saying she deserves to have fun and not worry about a dude with issues. He called his brief partnership with Kate Beckinsale legendary, but it just wasn't right, Kanye. He's also had great things to say about Margaret Qualley and Cassie David. Pretty positive stuff for most of his exes, to be honest, so we're not sure what went wrong with Ariana Grande. Looks like he didn't take his public bashing from her too well. He went as far as objectifying her at a funeral, albeit while they were still together. And then said a very weird comment about never being prouder when President Bill Clinton checked her out. If that wasn't too far, he even joked about swapping her birth control pills for Tic Tacs so she couldn't go anywhere alluding to the fact that he was with her for her immense wealth. We know it's all in the name of comedy, but funny or not, some people were not happy about it. It looks like he's learned his lesson anyway. It's safe to say we won't be seeing Pete direct any of his signature puns against Kim. She may be off limits, but the question remains, will his future exes be safe from his comedy sketches? I guess time will tell, and truth be told, he wasn't always known for talking about his exes. He actually has some great original content, so let's hope he sticks to that. But anyway, whether it's the wrath of crazy Kanye he's scared of, or he doesn't want to affect her image, or if he's being honest that he just wants to be a gentleman and keep his private life well private, these are the real reasons Pete Davidson won't joke about Kim Kardashian.